Welcome to another episode of Todoist Productivity Tips. In this week's episode, we're going to be talking all about developing habits within Todoist. Coming up next. So here we are within Todoist for Mac. And in this week's episode, it's going to be kind of a uh, short episode, but I did want to go over a little bit of um, some things you can do if you are looking to uh, build habits uh, or, um, you know, and break bad habits or even, you know, create good habits. And also how, you know, you can get into a habit of, uh, checking certain uh, things within Todoist in order to help yourself move forward in your life. Now, here you see I have uh, Todoist opened up and I have a project here called Habits. And I just put in some sample ones. Now, of course, if you're looking to uh, break any habits uh, outside of, you know, this, then you can, um, you know, put those in there uh, if you need be. But uh, this is just a little sample thing that I just threw in here real quick. To kind of show you how you can kind of utilize to do is to help you um, keep on track with um, habits. Now, with that being said, the thing you have to understand about habits is is when you're trying to build a good habit or trying to even break a bad habit, that is a habitual um, task or a repeating task. So as you see here, I have uh, Todoist here, and I have this Habits um, project, and I have like Make Bed, and you see the repeating task every day. And so if I click on that, you'll see it says every day there, and the indicator that it's a repeating task is that little arrows that are going in a circle. Um, I also have Stop Drinking Coffee, Only Drink Water, and that, I have that set for 2 p.m., so... I put that in there to say if I wanted to remind myself to stop drinking coffee because coffee drinking uh, after 2 o'clock uh, supposedly is bad for you. Um, so it messes with your sleep cycle. Anyways. But, uh, so I put that in there and I put a, uh, a reoccurring task every day at 2 p.m. to remind myself. Then, of course, I have one in here that says go to bed. Uh, if maybe I'm trying to build a habit of going to bed at a certain time every night and I want to uh, remind myself to do such, then I can put a reoccurring task in here to um, remind myself that I want to go to bed at 9 o'clock. Also, you can put in here, let's say, for instance, you're trying to um, create an exercise routine and you are wanting to... Um, um, you know, go for a walk or work out or what have you, and you want something to trigger you to remind yourself to do such, you can do that. And of course, typically when you want to do stuff like that, like uh, exercise, you want to try to set a time. So let's say 5 p.m. You can set a time for whatever you want. But, but like I say, usually habits here are repeatable tasks that are going to occur every day that you want to kind of remind yourself. And maybe this one here, since I wake up at 5 a.m., I might want to put a repeatable task here at 5 a.m. So when I'm looking at my today's view, I see all of these uh, repeatable tasks in here. Now, of course, as you see, uh, uh, the bed one's not in here. And why is it not in here? Well, it's not in here because it's already scheduled itself for tomorrow at 5 a.m. So it won't be in my today view because when I put in 5 a.m., it, it, since 5 a.m. has already passed, it's already moved itself over to the next day to remind myself. So in that day's view, it'll be at the top. So these are some of the ways that you can utilize times within your to-do is to kind of remind yourself of it. Okay, so here you see I have... 2 p.m. at 2 p.m. I need to stop uh, drinking coffee. 5 p.m. I need to go for a walk. Uh, 9 p.m. I need to... so I know that these times are um, kind of specific that I need to take care of those. Now, granted, if you are using a calendar, you would probably want to put some of these tasks 
in your calendars uh, since calendars are more time specific. But if you just want to use Todoist to keep track of uh, things you have to do at specific times, you can do so using their time uh, function with their dates. Uh, so that is what I wanted to talk to you all about today. Uh, like I said, I know it's a kind of a short one. I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a uh, tip on how you can uh, create habits within Todoist to um, keep yourself on track on uh, things that you want to build on the habit, uh, habit wise. And so with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see more videos like this in the future, please click on that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you like this video and uh, you want to leave a comment down below, please do so. Click on that like button and leave me a comment if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions. And with that being said, I want to wish you all an awesome day and let's become more productive. Thank you.